That's why today I am directing our House committee to open a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy seems to have finally woken up and is directing House committees to open impeachment inquiries into Joe Biden. Taken together, these allegations paint a picture of a culture of corruption. Now here's what we know so far. Through our investigations, we have found that President Biden did lie to the American people about his own knowledge of his family's foreign business dealings. Eyewitnesses have testified that the President joined on multiple phone calls and had multiple interactions. Dinners resulted in cars and millions of dollars into his sons and his son's business partners. We know that bank records show that nearly $20 million in payments were directed to the Biden family members and associates through various shell companies. The Treasury Department alone has more than 150 transactions involving the Biden family and other business associates that were flagged a suspicious activity by U.S. banks. Even a trusted FBI informant has alleged a bribe to the Biden family. Biden used his official office to coordinate with Hunter Biden's business partners about Hunter's role in Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company. Finally, Despite these serious allegations, it appears that the president's family has been offered special treatment by Biden's own administration, treatment that not otherwise would have received if they were not related to the president. These are allegations of abuse of power, obstruction, and corruption, and they warrant further investigation by the House of Representatives. That's why today I am directing our House committee to open a formal impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden. This logical next step will give our committees the full power to gather all the facts and answers for the American public. That's exactly what we want to know, the answers. I believe the President would want to answer these questions and allegations as well. This effort will be led by Chairman James Comer at the Committee on Oversight in coordination with Chairman Jim Jordan for Judiciary Committee and Chairman Jason Smith on Ways and Means. Now, I do not make this decision lightly. And regardless of your party or who you voted for, these facts should concern all Americans. The American people deserve to know that the public offices are not for sale, and that the federal government is not being used to cover up the actions of a politically associated family. Now, I would encourage the President and his team to fully cooperate with this investigation in the interests of transparency. We are committed to getting the answers for the American public. Nothing more, nothing less. We will go wherever the evidence takes us. And Democrats responded exactly how you'd expect. Ian Sams, who's the White House spokesman for shit hitting the fan, said that House Republicans have turned up no evidence of wrongdoing. And the Associated Press, who are just the propaganda wing for the Democrats at this point, said that there's no evidence for any of this. Notice the theme here. Just no proof. Where's the proof? No real proof. Because gaslighting the country is their last resort. House Democrats impeached Donald Trump for bad phone calls and the fact that he was mean and they didn't like him. If Joe Biden was a Republican, he would have been in jail for years by now. And you want to talk about proof because evidence only matters apparently when we're talking about Democrats. What about the millions funneled to multiple Biden family members, including his crack addict son, Hunter Biden? Are we seriously saying that Hunter Biden is only a millionaire because he's the most high functioning crack addict ever? What about hundreds of reports around money laundering? What about witness testimony? What about emails, texts, or when Joe Biden bragged about extorting the president of Ukraine on video? He said, no, I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. 
I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid at the time. What about the fact that Biden has changed his story over and over again when it comes to Hunter Biden and his business in China and Ukraine? First, he said Hunter didn't make any money. Then he said he never spoke to him about any of it. Then he said he never discussed the business directly. Then we're being told that he did talk to some of the foreign business partners, but only about the weather. So what's next? Yeah, Joe Biden did cut the Ukrainian businessman's balls while Hunter Biden massaged his shoulders, but that's all. The Biden family is a real-life soap opera with less drama, more sex, and way more corruption. You want to talk about proof? What about the guy who dropped a small fortune on Hunter Biden's crappy art, who somehow ended up with a prime seat on a federal board? We're supposed to think that's just a giant coincidence. So yes, there's proof. And if the impeachments of Donald Trump are anything to go by, there's more than enough proof. But multiple things can be true at once. This impeachment is political theater because all impeachments are political theater. This impeachment probably won't go anywhere because you need a two thirds vote in the Senate to convict and the Democrats own the Senate like China owns Biden. And Republicans are probably doing this to take the spotlight off their stream of election losses and put the focus back on Biden and his crime family. But while Biden should 100% be impeached for this, it's hardly the first time an impeachable offense has come up. What about the time he handed Afghanistan back to the Taliban and left billions of dollars of weapons there to give them a head start? What about the time he basically gave Ukraine the code to our bank account? What about the time he destroyed the American economy for no reason at all? So yes, Biden should be impeached. No, he won't be convicted. So maybe we should chew gum and walk at the same time. Impeach the corrupt old swamp creature and work out how we're going to kick him and his sordid family out of power in 2024. Because none of this means anything if he gets four more years of draining his position of power for everything it's worth.